Have you ever had an engine that runs rough at idle, but seems fine at higher speeds? Or maybe your car runs great in reverse, but struggles in drive. The culprit could be something called false air. In this video, we'll explain what false air is, why it happens, and how you can diagnose and fix it. Your car's engine relies on sensors to measure airflow and adjust fuel delivery accordingly. One of the key components is the mass airflow or MAF sensor, which measures all the air entering the engine. But what happens if extra air sneaks in after this sensor? That's what we call false air, air that enters without being measured. If there's a loose hose or a small crack in the air intake system, unmeasured air can enter, throwing off the engine's air to fuel ratio. The computer thinks there's less air than there actually is, leading to a lean fuel mixture, especially noticeable at idle. So how do you know if your engine has a false air issue? Here are some common symptoms to watch for. Rough idle or stalling at low speeds. Hesitation or misfires when accelerating. Check engine light with lean fuel codes, P0171 or P0174, and better performance in reverse than in drive. The best way to diagnose false air is by checking long-term fuel trim numbers using an OBD2 scanner. Here's how. Check fuel trims at idle. If they're significantly positive above plus 10%, the engine is likely compensating for unmeasured air. Rev the engine to 3,000 RPM. If the fuel trims improve or return to normal, you probably have a small vacuum leak. Once you find the leak, here's what you can do. Tighten or replace any loose or damaged air hoses. Inspect the intake boot for cracks and replace if necessary. Fixing false air issues can make a huge difference in your car's performance and fuel efficiency. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more car troubleshooting tips.